Hello YouTube, it is Damien. It is the journeyman. It's the hometown to hero. It is Genk. And it is the Europa League final. Today we take on Nuno Espirito Santo's Roma side with a chance to tick off one of the big European trophies that are on offer in the safe for us to win. We're going to start with the fact of our run in. It's been good. Since we last met, we drew to standard nil nil. We beat Club Bruges 1 0 and 2 1 with the full string boys and then fully rotated with 11 changes with a 2 0 win against Anderlecht on the final day. That's the good news. Bad news injuries are yet again afoot. Tactically, Christian injured, not fit. Odenaker, training injury, fit enough. Fitness test. Kadanach, not 100%, but will play. Christian is going to be risked to start. Odenaker has to obviously start alongside him. And obviously, Guyan's been coming back from that long-term injury. He will play his first full set of minutes in the Europa League final since that injury. It has not been a pleasant run in terms of injuries in this run-in. But the main thing is, all four of those boys are fit enough to have some sort of say in where this trophy ends up after 90 or 120 minutes of football today. And that's the important thing. In terms of for us, personally, we've done what we wanted to achieve this year. Reach a semi-final. The other part was, it was reputation. It has, in the end, got up to 75%, thus meaning four stars. We're at a reputation now that I think we could achieve most jobs across European football, which includes the jobs that are at the top of echelons. With that being the case, this could, way be, this could well be the last time we are in charge of Genk, and I would love that to be with a Europa League trophy at the end of it. We'll touch on Roma first. Their run has been pretty good. In the Serie A, they finished fourth and just snuck in for European Champions League football. Napoli ended up becoming champions, we beat a side that had 94 points in Italy, that wasn't Juve, in the semi. Should give us some confidence. The only thing I will say on that is this. Away from home, we lost. We have not been particularly good in matches, especially second legs of matches, throughout this whole campaign. And the problem with that is, is in the final, if you play like that, you do not get a second chance to rectify you do not get a home tie to go and put it to the, you know, put them to the sword. You just get one game in Spain against a team that deserves to be there. Roma themselves have got quite the star-studded squad. I will go through their starting eleven and bench in game, but that is what their squad looked like. In terms of their recent form, a little patchy lost to Napoli, which gives us a bit more confidence, of course, as well. And as you can see there, a lot of draw, but they did win on the final day. So a bit patchy. In terms of themselves, they were in Group D of the Europa League. So they've been here since middle one. They have not lost a game in Group D. Five wins and a draw against Dynamo away. They then went into the second round, lost to Sporting away from home before beating Sporting 5-3, including a goal in the 92nd minute to get it to extra time. And then after that, scored 99th minute to win. They were potentially one to two minutes away of not even being in the competition, and they have made the final. They then played final to one three one and one nil, and then Monaco they won two nil and one nil and did not concede. They have not conceded in their last three games in the Europa League final, as they come into that sort of form. Well, they have not conceded in their last three games till the Europa League final. Hopefully today, with our squad that we have out there, the form we're in, we can find the goals and we can knock them off. In terms of us, if you have not been up to date with the save, we have gone on quite the run ourselves. We were in the Champions League. It came down onto Group D action. And in the end, Bayern and Liverpool, who both fell by the wayside in the semi-final of the, of the Champions League to PSG and Man City, uh, teams that, I actually think by May actually got knocked out in the quarters, when I say that. Um, we were in one game and getting through. We lost in the 91st minute to Bayern Munich at home, and we potentially with a draw there and could have gone through. If we somehow beat Liverpool at Anfield, we would have gone through. 
take a lot of positives out of that. We then in, went into the Europa League, and in the first knockout round um, in the Europa League, we played Rapid Vienna on one new home and away. In two legs, we played atrocious in. Vienna played a 4-4-2 and probably should have knocked us out. We then played Valencia with 5-1 up, and then we looked like we were definitely going to go through in the second leg till Sadat got a red card and stress ensued. We did our best to bottle it. Thankfully, Kadic scored in the 87th minute, and we got through the tie just by the skin of our teeth. Against Rangers, we won 2-0. We were then 3-0 up at home on extended highlights. We moved the key highlights. And in then, Rangers went bang, bang, two goals inside five minutes. They then scored after half time, and it looked like they had all the momentum. Luckily for us, an own goal late doors stopped their run and the momentum, and we were to make this final, the semi-final. And then obviously last episode in the semi, we played exceptionally well against Napoli at home and took a 3-1 lead to Italy. In the first half, we should have been two or three goals up. We weren't. We didn't make the chances count. And in the second half, Napoli showed why they are the champions of Italy officially now. And in the end, we held on for dear life. Have our goalkeeper to thank. And we are in the final of the Europa League. Your team today to take on Roma is Van der Voet in net. Munier has to start at right back with Florenzi's big injury. Sadek and Kadanach is the preferred two, only because of the partnership. If it was up to me, I think Eric Barley deserves the start, but I do not have the balls or the cojones in order to drop Sadek right now. Machado goes in at left back because of the understanding he has with Goyen and because he's had a really good year. Odenenka and Christian, both of them not 100% fit. Do I have any better? Not really. If I did, Odenenka could make way because his form's been a little bit whatever. Guyan has not had minutes since his long-term injury, but he is back fit and firing enough to be in the starting 11. On paper, him and Kadanach are my best two players, so it makes sense that they both start. Franca has got a bit more minutes than Guyan has, so he's been a bit more getting returned back to injury from injury. It'd be a nice day for him to welcome his way back into the squad with a big performance. Kemp's been outstanding. I know the last couple of games have not been great, but that's because he's been playing on tired legs because I've literally had no one else to play out there. He's been averaging 6.6, .6, but 16 goals. He's been pretty good. This tailor makes to him. Lucky last, Papa Pauli. 20 goals this season. A lot of them in the Europa League knockout stages. His movement annoys me, but the big thing is he brings others into play when the ball is kicked straight to him instead of him actually moving to get find space. But more importantly, when he's had a chance in this Europa League, either on his noggin... With his left or right foot, he has buried. And against Roma today, we're going to need him. Big boys on the bench are as far as Bailey might, and Bailey might go out there if we need to move Munier into the middle of the park to cover Christian. And then Sadek goes out to right back. That might be one thing. Papini could be the other as well. You then obviously have obviously Joel Decker. He loves a goal in the Europa League. And then on top of that all, you've then got Owen, who's got the speed to change a game. I think more importantly, Ruben Chavez has been in outrageous form. If Guyan isn't up for it, expect this guy to come on because he does love a goal. That is your boys. We are potentially 90 minutes away or 120 minutes away from a Europa League final or absolute devastation. Your Roma side that we do face is Rui Patricio in net. The 37-year-old looks fantastic. Cars drop at 30 is still world-class. Mancini and Ibanez are both centre-backs that are of that next level. Diamarco as well knows how to get up and down. is fantastic. Pellegrini is absolutely outrageous in the middle of the park, and he has Bakayoko to provide cover to allow him to bomb on. Rodrigo out there on the right, great player, absolutely fantastic speed, and has got technicals of a god. He is going to be a handful. Pasalic through the middle is definitely very well-rounded, has been there and done it all, so no surprise to see him there. And Mateusz Tuna out there on the left-hand side is going to be quite hard to contain him too. But more importantly, Tammy Abraham up top. He is a physical specimen. And with that being said and done, the Roma side like Napoli are a lot better than ours on paper. But we have to have the faith that we can do it. On the bench, you've got obviously a few guys here. I'm just going to go through them there. Milik is one of them that you may know. You know, Nemanjan's another that people may know as well there. I'm just going to show you all of them very quickly. Pablo at 33 has the ability to pick a lock if he comes on too. Centre-back's actually quite quick in Kumbula um, as well. But yeah, as you can see, a lot of guys on there. De Siglio's another one. David Martinez. 
But yeah, that is your t- your Roma side we play. Score predictions in the chat. We're, of course, live on stream. Links down below. If you do want to watch the run from the quarterfinal onwards live in its entirety, non-stop, the stream on the 2nd of the 6th, 2022 is the stream you need to find. That'll be obviously up there and live for 30 days since re- from recording if you want a three to four hour stream to watch. And if that's your thing, go give us a follow and a like. Burger X win 3-2 in extra time. So a 2-2 draw in full time. I just want us to play well. I just want us to not get pumped. I don't want it to be one of those games where we don't play our best and then just bang straight away. Give Rodrigo a booking early doors. That would be great. He hasn't just told him off, which is smart refereeing. It's us in the blue, obviously. They are in their famous Roma colours. Ball over the top towards Munier from Christian. Finds Kemp. Hits it. Straight at Rue Patricio, who nearly spilt it to Papa Pauli. Preferred to see him cut it. Good start from us, though. Van der Voot, Machado now. Christian, and away we go. Of course, on extended highlights, by the way, everybody. If you have not seen the run-in, you know why extended is the way we're going. Six minutes play, it's Kemp. His ball finds Munier. He is in here. Munier! Munier! He, he is playing because Florenzi is gone. He is injured and he cannot play our big, big name right back who would probably finish this. But Munier, Mr. Experience, comes in two touches and Thomas fires us into a lead in the Europa League final. Free kick, Kemp back sticks. Kadenach heads and heads over. It could have been two. As it stands, if we keep a clean sheet, we will be Europa League champions. Athena, Papapouli and Athena. Christian now, over the top. Odenaka, Odenaka. Oh, I didn't want to shoot. Well, I don't know why. Wins it back though. That's fine. Munier now. Can he get across? He does. Doesn't find anyone of in particular note. We keep it again. We keep possession and the pressure on him. Sadak, Kadanach, Papapouli. One touch. Can he? He can. You know he can. We're 2 0 up 12 minutes into the Europa League final. We are 2 0 up 12 minutes into the Europa League final, and Roma do not know what hit them. They're still on the plane coming from Italy. We have landed in Spain and have made it count as Papa Pauli fires us into a 2 0 lead in the final of the Europa League. Corner straight down the other end for DeMarco, though. Good ball in there, cleared away, but only as far as Rodrigo. Rodrigo now getting byline cuts at Terry Abraham straight at Van der Voot. Roma maybe have finally woken up. Highlight still going. Great leg. Athena, though, that's poor. That's a lack of match awareness. He has time to take it on his chest. Instead, he's given it back to Roma, and Tammy's over the top. The kick from Van der Voot was good. It hit him straight on the chest, and he just decided to knock it on. Rodrigo now hits Van der Voot. Great save from the keeper. Just like that, Athena just allowed the pressure to build back on us. We've done the right thing from the corner. I guess you could say game management rise. Van der Voot probably should hold the ball. You've got a 2-0 lead. But in the end, poor mistake from Athena. Not punished, though, luckily, thanks to Van der Voot, who has been, arguably, the best keeper in Europe this season. Sadak, Munier, Franca, tackled. Falls to Odenaka, Christian. Great Buddha Machado. Bombs on the former Porto man. Papa Pauli got there first, but it's been blocked. Still 2-0. Christian ball in, cleared away by Ibanez. That should be your highlight. Should being the key word, and it is. Straight away again, it's Munier. Odenaka, Christian, blocked. Tammy Abraham, it falls to. Rodrigo now, and it's Pellegri. And it find Pellegrini, not Pellegri. And cars drop. Ball in. Pasolac. That's over the bar. That's fine. 2 0 up in the final. 20 minutes played. Now it's just a waiting game. To be fair, since I've made that comment that Roma haven't got off the plane, they've been the better side, statistically at least. Now it's an even game. Roma have woken up. But we've done what so many teams c- couldn't have done in real life this year, namely Liverpool, when you're on top in a final to actually score goals. 
You've actually gone out there and done what you need to do. When you are on top in a final and you get a sniff you have to, and you smell that blood, you have to go be a shark and eat it. We've finally done it as Papa Paulie should have gone and made it 3-0. Yeah, I get confused. Burger's like, do you get confused when you see the AI miss silly passes that, you know, in the pass maps and you just don't know where they're looking? Yeah, pretty much, mate. See it all the time on FM, where you just go, what, what are you doing? Anyway, Kadenich, 38th minute played. Odenenka, Kemp, Munier, Sadik, Kadenich, and Sadik. Good ball movement. Odenenka, just keep it now. If you have to go back to Vandervoort, it's fine. Need, him, need him, someone to show themselves. Franker dropping in is quite nice. Good ball to Kemp. Papa Pauli, you need to help him. Does, finishes, goals. As long as Kemp's on side and build up, that's 3-0. I think Kemp's on side and build up. That's 3-0. This is a final with 3-0 up. It's been given. Just get the meme of the office. It's happening. And insert it. I'm not good enough with that editing, but you all know the meme. That's the meme I'm thinking of. It's 3-0 up. It's the 39th minute. I cannot quite believe what is going on. Christian, who is absolutely out of his legs. I do not care. You're standing out there. Odenenka and him are playing weldies. Do not care. It's 3-0. What a 45 minutes. There's 45 to go. We have notably in second halves of games have fallen by the wayside and allowed oppositions in. This is not what we want to see. If that went in, I would have been like, and the nerves would have come straight in. Mercifully, no. Di Marco backstick. Gabriel Mancini misses a sitter. I don't know what it is. Second half of games was shit. But we're freeing you up. Just... Good 45 minutes of football. A solid 45 minutes of football. We've given them back the ball. I don't know what it is. Come second half, all we do is just hate opposition. Have the ball. Batter us, please. Luckily for us, Roma gives it back to us. Papa Pauli over the top. Papa Pauli's finished. I thought he was offside initially. So I'm not over I'm not over the moon with this. I thought he was offside. It's four. He's on. Man, Papa Pauli in the league. And at the start of this year... He was not particularly any good. In the Europa League since the quarterfinal, since he basically said to Pepe, you got no more hip and absolutely mauled him in training, he's kind of said, shit, I've taken out one of our key players. I better become a player and a half. And I tell you what, in the Europa League, every chance he's had since the quarterfinal, he's finished. His movement does annoy me at times. But I tell you what, every time he's had a sniff, he's scored. And sometimes that's all you want from a striker. And when credit is due... The Papa Pauli final, Papa Pauli final is, a beyond, is upon us. And this game will be remembered for the brilliance of one big man at six foot seven up top. From four nil up, Papa Pauli has a hat trick. It would be an almighty bottle from here. The only thing I'll say is Roma's got enough time but they can find a goal very quickly. If Roma can make it 4-1 before the 55th minute, basically this highlight, then you still get a bit nervy. Yeah, so Pepe's hip injury was caused by a uh, Papa Pauli, uh, um, Papa Pauli uh, collision. Uh, YouTube was the actual definition. I think I showed you it anyway. Um, but uh, we've been saying in chat that Papa Pauli basically lined him up because he's six foot seven and a big boy. Look, we're four nil up. There's no point in risking it. Munier is actually going to come in here at, uh, as a uh, box to box. Am I actually going to move uh, Odenaker into bull winning on defend? And with that one there, we are going to get Fabio Papini at a young age in there. Actually, no, we're not. Sadek out there, Eric Bailly is going to go out there because he's had a season and a half. He's been my best centre-back all year. He's played the most amount of minutes because I've been rotating him in and out in basically most games. With Kadenach's injuries and the suspension of the Sadek. Deserves to be out there, Eric. 63 minutes played. Four new up. We're in party mode. Machado now. This is a final. Papa Pauli scored four in the final. <laughs> he scored four in a final. Let me send this to Paul. He just, yeah. Pauli. 
Papa Pauli just scored four in the Europa League final. Four in the Europa League final. Papa Pauli. Just send that to my fellow streamer Pauli. Links down below to Pauli. He's doing a derby save that's off its tree at the minute. So yeah, go check that out. We're five new up in the Europa League final. On paper, this shouldn't have been this one-sided. Extended highlights. This is why you play on extended. Takes the match momentum, the recent form, how well you played, the data hub, stats, everything like that. And in the 75th minute, we are 5-0 to the good. I don't anchor. There's no point you running yourself out of this game. I'm going to bring on into this one here for everybody. Peter Simpson's had a pretty decent year. Why not? That's perfectly fine. Guyan's had a pretty good game. I'm going to take him off. And I think Ruben deserves to be out there too. The youngster with the injuries has gone out there, done a job and gone absolutely ballistic. We are 10 minutes away from doing what we set out to do here at Gank, which is we need Europa League. Did I think we're going to do this emphatically? No. Did I think against Rapid V, a Chavez has scored this... The 18-year-old off the bench. Papa Pauli has an assist. The Papa Pauli final. It's the Papa Pauli show. Did you buy your tickets? Because he has gone monstrous, the big boy. Kent whips one. The loney from Arsenal. Papa Pauli flicks it on. And Chavez has scored. And it's 6-0. And Roma do not know what has hit him. It's 6-0 in the Europa League final. You asked me if we were winning it after we played Vienna and their 4 4 2 dominated me home and away? No. After trying to throw it away against Valencia, and Valencia 3 0 up needing a goal with us with 10 men to go and get it to extra time, do you think I was staying in the Europa League with 25 minutes left to play in that game? No. Do you think when we got to Rangers? And they scored three goals in the space of 10 minutes and they needed one goal with 25 minutes left to play with all the momentum that we would be here. A little bit of me believed a bit more then. But still no. And did you think we were 2-1 up against Napoli with their star-studded squad, their world-class squad, who won the Serie A? Would we be here 30 seconds away from winning the Europa League? I believed, but not really. Instead, we've came, we've saw, we've conquered, and Papa Pauli, as Kent misses an absolute sitter, has single-handedly won us the Europa League. And what would be, more than likely, my last game in charge of Genk, we are Europa League champions. And now, it's all down to the referee's whistle. And there you go. In the final... In the rain in Spain, we are 6-0 winners and we have just broke a whole heap of Italian hearts. And we add to our CV the Europa League in the journeyman and that feels bloody good. Lift that trophy aloft, boys. There you go. So to recap, we have won back-to-back A-League minor premierships and Grand final series. So there's four trophies there. We've come to Ge we've come to Belgium and done back to back domestic doubles. So there's another four trophies there, which is eight. We also won the Asian Champions League, which is nine trophies. And on top of that, we just won the Europa League, which is ten trophies that I believe we won in four seasons of football. 10. I've counted that right. Two domestic doubles in the A-League. Four. Five for the Asian Champions League. Euro Europa League. Domestic double back-to-back. -back. Six, eight, ten. Yeah. I might be missing one, too. We've just won ten trophies in four seasons. I know the A-League's quite easy to win once you get a good squad, but still. We just beat Roma 6-0. We just beat Roma 6 bloody nil in a final. Do you leave? Do you stay because you think this gank's card 
do you, do you stay because this gank squad might actually make a deep run at the Champions League next year with this squad? Like, is this a squad that's only going to get better than you think that you could win the Champions League here next year? I don't think we're going to win the Champions League, let's be honest. Bayern and Liverpool showed us that. Question, you know, answers in the comment section, answers in the Twitch chat. What would you do next year? You just won the Europa League. You won 6-0 in the final. Do you stay potentially to go and go on a deepish run in the Champions League? Or do you cash in on your success, your reputation of 80% and four stars and try and get a big job? I don't know. You let me know. In terms of everything else, though, I'm going to end it with one man. Papa Pooley. The Papa Pooley final has concluded. And we are 6-0 winners and Europa League champions. Till next time, I'll see you then. Thank you and goodbye.